What's up dudes, Chooch out here on the King Song S20 Eagle. Now this is the latest wheel from the company King Song. This is a high performance electric unicycle. Now electric unicycles have been around since about 2013, late 2013. Really started to take off about 2016, 2017 and then boomed during the pandemic because everybody wanted a good way to get around and get outside, be able to have fun and travel to work for cheap and especially right now with gas prices going through the moon this is the way to go guys i've been riding for about seven and a half going on eight years now and it really has reduced the amount of money i've spent on gas tremendously it's increased my amount of fun i've had on my commutes it makes me look forward to going to do the things that you hate doing like going to work in the mornings and stuff like that it actually gets you out of bed and um, instead of sitting in traffic it gives you a something to look forward to, which is just big in itself. Um, not to even mention just how much time it saves, the convenience, all that stuff. But now we've come to a point where a lot of people did want suspension in these wheels. And a lot of people even argued back and forth over many years whether, you, whether or not you needed suspension at all. Uh, there's some people out there that still, to this day, including myself a few years ago um, that are hard heads about it and think that you really don't need suspension on an electric unicycle and definitely in some cases um, you really don't like if you're tr just track racing and stuff like that you're going for full performance there's some scenarios if you're in the city and you're trying to get the most range out of a wheel and not have any frills of suspension that's what I mean you traditionally go with is something like the commander or something like that where it's literally all battery packs in there and you're just cruising but if you really want the ultimate performance wheel to be able to just take this whole thing to the next level to be able to hit jumps to be able to essentially ride this thing like a trials bike this is exactly the if you've ever seen, played like trials hd or any of those oh, games or whatever it's like a trials bike really guys and this um, all it takes is one of these uh, actual skilled um, mountain bike or trials bike riders to get on this where they can start hopping from post to post, hopping from rock to rock and doing all that because it has the torque there in order to do it and this is just, the potential is endless with this device guys. Uh, it's a 20 inch wheel which is perfect in the electric unicycle game. Um, Electric unicycles go all the way down. There's like an 8-inch electric unicycle all the way up to a 24-inch electric unicycle. And people have even custom made their own that are bigger. But traditionally, what you're going to want to go with, guys, is about a 19 to 20-inch wheel. That'll let you get over most obstacles and terrain out there. If you think about it, your traditional car wheel is about 19 to 20 inches. And that goes over most potholes all that type of terrain so with this you can get over potholes it takes most bumps and combined with suspension you're pretty much good to go this thing is i mean it's all-wheel drive essentially i know it sounds absolutely stupid to say that and obvious but with one wheel you can really go anywhere you want to go it's super nimble you can turn around on a dime you can ride it downstairs and the coolest part about this guys is the amount of range these have with the ability to just put it right in your truck <laughs> or car or wherever it is. You don't need a trailer. You don't need to buy like a Thule or Yakima rack or whatever it is to put on your car. You can literally just strap this thing like little. I take it my seat and put the automatic seat back a little bit and then um, put it right between the glove compartment and the passenger seat and then uh, put the automatic seat forward. And that's literally how I put my wheel in my car. It takes two seconds, holds it in place, and very simple guys very very simple ease of use and then the cool another cool thing is this you can go to places where you might not want to like essentially if you had a dirt bike on the back of your car you might pull up somewhere and it's not like you're gonna pull up to uh, a fast food restaurant or something on a road trip and be like hey i'm gonna unload the dirt bike off the back of the car and go ride it around with this, if you see something cool, if you see a feature, a jump, a trail, anything like that, it takes two seconds to just get it out of your car if you do, if you are riding around with it. Like, I road trip with mine. That's why I say, like, because some people might be getting this 
in lieu of an automobile in the city, which is also great. And I use it for that a lot as well. But also whenever I'm in my car road trip and I take it with me. So whenever I stop somewhere and I see something neat, or interesting, cool, or I just want to explore the area really quick and throw it back in the car, I can do that. And it's great. Another thing that this also does is the parking that's in cities, guys, is absolutely outrageous nowadays, as you know. Like what, like $35 a day in Denver is what I saw the other day. I was like, bro, what what are they thinking? It's like $5 every 30 minutes and stuff and like that. So this is the hack. Get an electric unicycle, keep it in your car, and then park like at a Target or a Walmart, something like that, that's close to the city, but not in the city. If you got to run an errand down there real quick, and then boom, dude, you saved $30 just by riding like a mile on the unicycle which is fun to do so that's what i always do whenever i'm commuting down to denver for sure i never pay for parking down there um, i used to live in denver but i refuse to go down there and actually pay for one of those parking garages guys so that's what i, I mean there's so many endless uses for this thing and you can definitely find one if this looks interesting to you i say give it a shot if you're new to this if you've been into mountain bikes skateboards anything under the sun getting this is going to be entertaining just honestly getting this in the mail getting it out of the box learning about it going through the whole process i mean you are literally going to be the coolest guy in the neighborhood with this thing absolutely and everybody is going to ask about it everybody's going to want one um it simply is i mean it, it's just a, a show in itself this device it's great and if you're getting this as a first wheel, I don't think it's a bad idea completely. But I do think that there is better options. So, like, if you're looking at this and you're like, hey, let me get into electric unicycles. This looks like a really cool hobby. You might be thinking, well, $3,200, that's a lot of money. And you're like, well, I'm, I'm telling you, like, this is like the top-end, specced out uh, MacBook um, of electric unicycles. Like, if you want to think about it that way, you know how you can go into Apple, you can get, like, a laptop 15 inch macbook as their uh, whatever price like thousand dollars but if you really want the good one you got to pay a ton of money for the tech i'm thinking it's like twice as much so what i'm getting at it with is this is basically like the specked out macbook pro of electric unicycles this thing right here has a lot of watt hours in it um so any electric unicycle with just a lot of watt hours in it which is your battery capacity is just going to be more expensive than one that doesn't have as much so a great way to get into this hobby, guys, and a great way to kind of get grounded with it and see if you like it or whatnot, man, these other electric unicycles that aren't the S20, any of the other ones really, guys, um, the mid-range ones, the RS19, the Kingsong 16S, the 14S, the 14D, um, 18XL, the even like the EXN and stuff like that, guys, don't count those out because I, th I still think those are are a great entry wheel and a good stepping stone. I don't, really don't think you need to go and spend $3,200 and get the top of the line wheel if you're just getting into this hobby. I mean, you really don't, guys, because the thing is, if you're just getting into this, you're going to go through a phase where you have to learn, man. Where, where I really would recommend you getting a wheel that's not this much money you could get one that's like half the price is this and you could really end up the whole thing is you you don't want to have the feeling of hey man i just crashed my wheel or hey i got a scratch on it or whatever it is because man if you spend thirty two hundred dollars and you really worked hard for that you're going to be really really um conscious about every scratch every little um dent ding whatever it may be on your new king song s20 and i totally get that dude like that is natural to be that way but i think one one thing that's beneficial that's extremely beneficial is buying a lower end wheel like don't i mean you don't have to get a used wheel just getting a wheel that's like 1200 to 1500 dollars or about the two thousand dollar range as opposed to you know adding 1200 more dollars to that with this one you would really have the mindset of not really caring as much whenever it got dinged up bashed up you crashed it on the trail or whatever it is and you really want to think about that because if it's your only wheel man you don't want to be stressing out about a a little ding or dent you put in the side of it 
just learn it, man, because we all have crashes. The amount of times I've crashed, man, is crazy. Like, the amount of times I've literally torn up electric unicycles and bashed them and crashed them, man, it just happens. It simply happens. And my first few of them, I really was meticulous, man. I was like, okay, I had the baby bumper padding all over them. I didn't want to tear them up. I didn't really want to um, crash them and, and ride them hard. But that's kind of the thing, guys, is it's just going to happen. And just literally just get a wheel that you're comfortable with it happening to if it's your first wheel and ease into it, man. Just just know it's going to happen. Don't get mad whenever it does. Try to put some padding on it whenever you can, but know that you don't need to get this as your first wheel. But to the guys out there that have been riding a long time, that do have the best of the best electric unicycles, the guys that race, the guys that ride RS19s, EXNs, Monster Pros, all that, Abrams, Veteran Shermans, all of you guys, you really need this wheel. I'm telling you straight up. Like, I mean, I would give up every single wheel in my fleet pretty much except for, like, my long-haul wheels. Because, I mean, you, everybody knows this isn't just not a long-haul wheel, man. I can go three times as far on, on the Commander High Torque that uh, Yuko sent over. Shout out to Yuko for really uh, helping out with all of this, man. The link's below. If you buy from them, it helps me out at no cost to you. But Yuko, shout out, guys. Like... The commander they sent over, that's just a different beast, guys. So I'm not dogging the long-range wheels. I'm not saying that you don't need long-range. I'm just saying that if you want a good suspension electric unicycle, if you really want something that does what this one does, where you can ride it comfortably, where it's not too heavy, to where the suspension works well, to where the tire, I mean, everything on this wheel just is performance, man. You're not going to be able to go... 70 miles on it it's just not going to happen yet we really would have to have like nuclear battery technology to be able to fit it all in here to fit the suspension in here and to make this thing as sturdy as it is and high quality as it is and then still have the range without being too heavy as some of like the veteran sherman and whatnot so the guys out there that are veteran sherman riders i have one myself and long haul riders that are dogging the range of this thing man it's just simply not that type of wheel i think the guys out there that like trail riding they're like ripping hard trails man that ride any type of off-road terrain they ride through mud snow all that because i rode all of it man and this thing is waterproof and it's, it's had no problems in snow mud any of that and off-road, man, you have so much more confidence just going straight into, whether it be sand, a, a um, overhang, a rut, a lip, a little concrete lip on the road, anything, any anomaly that you would have to go in a little bit slower on any other unicycle and hesitate. With this one, I just know in my mind with that beefy, um, I think it's like a three-ply tire on there combined with that extremely beefy rim this on this unicycle and i mean you see the rim is just solid on this thing guys i looked at this thing and it is mad solid the whole entire motor on this thing motor assembly it just looks more high quality than any other one out there so far i'm not even like bs it is like thicker and higher quality all around and i mean it it they, they really did top notch on this and you can you have so much more confidence going into uh, stairs, jumps, everything like that that would potentially bend a rim on the other unicycles. Dude, you can hit it with this one. Like, I'm not, like, trying to tear it up, but I know what it can take, man, like, to this point. And you can really ride, man, 20 miles an hour into, like, a gnarly lip, and this thing, just, the suspension just does its job. It engages, and the rim is absolutely not damaged at all. And I think that is one big thing, man, because you can ride smooth all the time and all it takes is that one time out there where you don't have suspension and you hit a little lip, something the wrong way, and it cracks your rim like on those Shermans, man. So this is everything, man. Like I seriously think if you're doing like 90% of what electric unicycle riders do, goofing off, hitting little jumps, Doing a little bit of commuting, a little bit of playing, a little bit of jumping, a little bit of uh, tricks, all in between, then this is your wheel. If you're strictly, 
out there like just point A to point B rider and you never go off any curbs, you never jump anything and that is just not what you like to do, then this is just not your wheel. Um, and I respect that 100%, man. But you got to think, even like the days where you drop off a curb or you want to jump up a curb or something like that, this thing does those little things way better than any other wheel out there. And it just doesn't have the range. The only thing is, it doesn't have that like 55 to 60 to 80 mile range some wheels have. You got to think about that. But it does have more range than any other suspension wheel out there. And it has more range than most people are ever going to like use on, as a typical person on an average day man um definitely if you wake up early in the morning and you want to go ride all day this probably isn't the wheel to do it i'd go with something like the veteran sherman commander high torque something like that or commander high speed but if you're like 95 percent of the riders out there or 95 percent of the people you live in a neighborhood you got because like dude this is a whole another thing man like the people that live in like neighborhoods and stuff that don't live in cities like you got to think about that they don't have a lot of like concrete infrastructure to go ride on you have a lot of stuff like i was riding on here and that is a whole another game changer man so you got to think about suburban america all the kids out there that wanted one of these but didn't see a use for it what are you going to do ride it up to the home depot and <laughs> out of your neighborhood real quick or something i mean it, it's not like you live in a city and had a use for it but now you can do all kind of stuff with it you can build a ramp in the front yard you can ride it around in the dirt in the trails shoot in the drainage ditches whatever it may be and so this opens up a whole new demographic of electric unicycle riding so you got to think about it with this one too i think everybody will have fun with this wheel straight up if it's your first wheel if you're a kid living in a suburb if you're an adult living in a city if you're a guy out there that's in the uh dirt bikes four wheelers whatever you're gonna love it and if you're a tech junkie out there that's just into like nerdy stuff like this you'll love it too so this thing is just for everybody i think anyways dudes it's been chooch i'll see you dudes in the next one